Yo, yo, I'm Mix Mars and Man, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I picked up a nice little mower off of eBay, and it's a really, really simple fix. I've already diagnosed the issue, I know what the issue is. I didn't when I first picked it up, but so many people, they just throw away lawnmowers or they sell them or whatever because they just, they just don't even have a consumption to investigate what the problem is. And to investigate this issue would have cost a person nothing and to repair the issue would cost a person about four pound maximum. So they, they've just thrown away a hater, uh, push them over rear roller for four pound. It's as simple as that. So in this video, I'm going to show you a quick way of diagnosing a few issues uh, that you may have with your lawnmowers. And you can save yourself some money. Um, it's really, really simple thing to do. And, and I know that some people just don't have the inkling or you know, they don't have the patience or they just, they just, they're not interested. They'd much rather just go out and just go and buy a brand new lawnmower for like four or five hundred pounds, right? But that's not me. That's not why I did the channel. So in today's video, it's going to be all about how to diagnose your, uh, this particular lawnmower, find the fault and get it up and running for about four quid. If you're interested, hit your subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notifications to all. That way you'll come next time I upload another video. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty. So a quick look at this hater um, sprite, try and get it up and running. And if we can, we're on a winner. Right, let's have a quick little look. Now, it is just starting to rain, so uh, it's not a good thing, but uh, the sun is out, but so is also the rain clouds. So here it is, little hater, 41 Sprite, um, with a rear roller. As I say, I've already diagnosed the issue, I know what it already is, um, but when I had fixed, fixed the lawnmower, um, it was running A1, absolutely brilliant. I have put a new pull cord on, because the pull cord was a little bit naff, but apart from that, uh, this lawnmower, I fixed it, and you could have fixed it for about four pounds. So nice little machine, it's in tidy condition. Uh, what year is that? The year on there is, uh, shout when you see it, 2011. 2011 machine, and these Briggs & Stratton classics, they just, they just go on forever, man, forever and ever and ever. Let's get sorted out then, and I'll show you what it's doing, how to test it, and how to repair it. Okay, so we're all set up. So I put some fresh fuel in this machine. Okay, it's got brand spanking new fuel, it's got new pull cord. But let's just say this is how, how I picked it up, okay? The pull cord was a bit naff, so just, just replace that. It had fuel in it already, okay? So I've done nothing to this machine when I picked it up at all. Got it out of the van, bought it down to the garden, thought this could be a quick, easy fix for me. Hopefully I haven't bought a lemon. I paid reasonable money for this, reasonable. So, dead man's handling. I can already see the switch at the back is already uh, connecting. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So the switch already connecting, and I've primed it a couple of times. Let's just give it a pull, see what happens. Neil on fire. No. Nothing. So it's got enough gas in it. Um, it's got fuel. Um, so the next thing to test for is, is for spark. Now, what you want to do to test for spark is grab yourself one of your sockets out of your toolbox. If you ain't got one, go to Tesco's, B&Q, wherever it is, Facebook Marketplace, and buy yourself an adjustable spanner, okay? Um, this is a 7 16 Whitworth that my mate Pete gave me. It just fits absolutely lush. That's what is my go-to spark plug changer. So, I'm going to take that out. So you might have spent a pound on a on an adjustable, okay? You then want some carburetor spray, or what you can do is you know the little tiny medical straws that kids use for for for, med for medicine, you know, um, for cowpool. Get one of those, but don't give it back to your wife. Take a bit of fuel out the tank and pour it into the cylinder head where the spark plug hole is. But I've got carburetor spray. A little bit of carburetor spray. Go. I'm going to push that in there. Now, all we're doing by doing this is we're just bypassing the carburetor system itself. Okay, that's all we're doing. So we're saying to Mr. Mr. Lawnmower, if you can't get fuel from a carburetor to the cylinder, I'll put it straight in the cylinder. So there's now fuel in the cylinder. We're going to pull the dead man handle, and then we're going to pull the cord. So that's saying we have no spark. Now that could be for a number of reasons. It could be because the switch isn't making, is, is, uh, is still in contact on the dead man and a cable adjustment may be required. 
So that could be one issue. It could be we've got a duff coil. Worst case scenario, new coil, be about £25 to fix that, okay? And I've got videos on how to do those. But if it's not a coil, it's not the switch, it could just be a £4 spark plug. Now this spark plug in here looks to be really, really, really good. It is a an RJ19LM Champion. And if you look at the condition of a plug, the plug looks to be in really, really good condition. Okay, so it's not that old at all, right? So what I'm going to do, we'll put that plug down, and we can test that plug later on. So here, besides my cup of coffee, or as Americans call it, quaffy, um, I've got an NGK uh, B2LM. I'm going to put that in. I'm just going to nick that up. It's got a little tiny compression washer on that spark plug, so don't hang on it, but just really well seat it. I'm going to put the HTD back on. Now, there should be some carburetor spray still in there. You may have evaporated off by now, but I'm not going to prime it. I'm going to pull the dead man's handle switch in. Boom! So it runs absolutely A1. Did somebody get rid of their hater lawnmower? for a four pound spark plug. I believe they did. Now, you know, it could have been that they went down and got a brand new spark plug out of, out of the shop. And the spark plug could have been duff. You run that risk. I'm lucky I got two or three spark plugs. Um, but this spark plug looks like it has been run. Okay, so the machine at some point has been running on this. You can tell that by the color of all the element inside. How black it is, you can see that. So it has been running. But this little hater lawnmower has been sold as spares or repair. Spares or repair. A hater sprite, spares or repair. Can't get it to start. It was and the advert was great. We've been a good mower, be sorry to see it go. Rady, 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 rady. If you just put a brand new spark plug in it. So let's just test the theory. Let's just remove that spark plug, the good one that I put in, just to prove the point. I'm going to go under it. And we'll put back in the old spark plug. Yeah. We're going to put back in that old spark plug. So we know the machine fires. Let's put that spark plug back in again. HT lead back on. And pull the cord. Doesn't want it. Because for whatever reason it is, the spark plug has now failed. So, did the young lady she could have made two choices here. She could have bought the lawnmower into a repair shop, into a main dealer work um, repair shop and got it fixed. And those guys are not silly. They would have had a quick look, look, look around it, test of a spark. You might have had a bill from a main dealership for, oh, I don't know, let's say 40 quid. Time to get it in, time to look at it. You know, they've got overheads to, to worry about. Still would have been cheap, a cheap fix and going to buy a brand new lawnmower. Um, she could have took it to a, just a, you know, a bloke down the road who fixes machines. He might have charged the same sort of money, or maybe a bit less. Um, but what I'm trying to emphasize here is that people, so many people, especially here in the UK, it's not just the UK though, so many people are just throwing away machines because they just deem, because the machine is not running, it's broke. And because it's broke, it cannot be repaired or it's gonna to be too expensive. But for a four pound part? Yeah. Put your comment in the comment section down below what you think you should, what you would do. Are you one of those people that just has no interest in repairing a lawnmower? 
um, doesn't have the inkling, maybe you're an office worker and you don't have the tools and you're, not, and you're just not bothered, just go and buy a new one. It's as simple as that. Pro problem is solved, stress-free. For me, a £4 fix would always be a winner. If it's the first time you're watching Mixed Mode of Man, hit your subscribe button and whack the old bell. Set notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time I upload another video. I look forward to seeing the episode of Mixed Mode very, very soon, but until then, guys and girls, much more importantly, take it easy.